Hello gang, welcome to the channel and today we're here to showcase some more Synd Sinister Syndicate and we're going into World Boss Legend and now with all of our Sinister Six to see their value with the builds I have made for them. Uh, I didn't swap anything, I have the CTP of Rage on Craven, CTP of Rage on Dr. Octopus, mediocre build, no Odin's Blessing or any special Urus or something. And the only one who has some Odin's Blessing basically, it's Green Goblin, who also got a City of Judgment. And I'm going to compare them, uh, each other, but also because Dr. Octopus got a special tag which is durability and it is helpful, uh, you know, it's, it's a must-have for World Boss Legend, now as level 70, stage 70 basically, to stage 74. Uh, it's something you know people is progressing through and they want to know that who is the best durability for this day I personally use Hulk, but because my Hulk is tier 4 here and it, it's not that fair I'm going to compare my Dr. Octopus with Namor A lot of people have asked for it in my comments They want to see a comparison between Namor level 80 I have my Namor with the City of Judgment So I'm going to compare him with uh, CDP of Raids Dr. Octopus and for your own information I saw a video of uh, a lot of people basically but basically one of Cynicalx last night or something he did a comparison uh, basically he tested Dr. Octopus with CDP of Energy and uh, from the numbers and from the timing I saw I think that Dr. Octopus is way better with an energy or a mighty destruction for this day because his rotation it's pretty easy and you can catch up and proc every single time into his sixth or, or into his fourth and have more damage with an energy instead of a rage in world boss legend but because i test him for abx i had slapped the rage on him so yes it is what it is so yeah let's go into the gameplay let's start with the lowest guy craven let's go into green goblin and Namor versus Dr. Octopus. But before we go through that, guys, I want you to make sure that you have smashed the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you can see all the shorts and videos we're dropping daily, and also comment down below if you have clear this stage, the durability stage of stage 70, and what you were using on this stage. Because for me, it was really hard, I had stuck there, and I, when I realized that Hulk can do it, I was like, yay! As you can see, I have done uh, on this uh, world boss, I just did basically 74. And now I'm progressing with my Thor, because he's an alien, from 75 and above. Yeah, so yeah, let's go into the gameplay. Okay, let's start with Craven and Craven. You already know that he is not a big deal damage wise, but the only purpose of this character is to be a meme, at least as a DPS. Uh, the fun fact that he can use his second skill and avoid all the boss mechanism and have the boss being freeze is not so cased in the first phase of Null because Null is seated into the throne and you can't really understand uh, the value of the character but as soon as you go into the next phase you're gonna see a really weird things going on you know uh, as you can see at the moment in 40 seconds he have done the first 15 bars which is kind of bad for stage 39 if you see if you think that even uh, before we start getting tier 4s, everyone was... everyone. You had the options to clear stage 39, there were some villains that we were able to do it as level 70. Uh, but yes, let's fast forward and go into the fun part. The fun part starts here, and as you can see, I'm starting to swapping my rotation into... Two, 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 two. I'm doing like the normal rotation, which is 5 delay cancel 3, uh, cancel 4 or uh, 6 delay, 6 cancel, 5 delay cancel, 3 delay cancel, 4. Your main damage source is your fourth skill, but in the same time, if you spam your second skill, you can see now standing still like this and you're scratching him with your spear into his back. So the boss is freezing and you're, you're, you're stabbing him 
uh, you know, you have your knife there and try to skin him. As you can see, he's completely freeze. In all the second phase, he was like this, because I'm utilizing the second skill. As soon as you're pressing your second skill, the enemy wall boss is standing still and he can't really do anything. Here, uh, I think, yes, I'm going into the dragon phase through that. You can't avoid basically the phases. You can just avoid the mechanism in between the phases. You can't avoid the fact that he's going to jump into uh, the dragon phase on 13 bar. But until 13 bar, you can have him still there and look at you killing him without being able to do anything. Basically, he can't see you. That's why he's doing that. So yes, he's not looking at you, but the, the modeling game looks like he's looking at you, at least. Yes, uh, stage 12, I mean 12 bar, and he jumped into the dragon phase there. So yes, uh, I mean, can you clear it with him? Yes, you can clear it. Is he the best option? Not at all. He's just support as it seems. And I did uh, add this uh, only to show you how fun it is to stay there and see the boss doing stuff. Here it's something you can't avoid, I should swap, so that's why I died like a dog. And let's go into the very next one, which is Green Goblin, and let's see how he can participate into this world boss. It's stage 39, which is big for stage, for level 70 to be honest. Uh, but yes, in the same time, we have progressed through with all these tier 4s and all these t last tier 3s level 80. You can see his tier 3 skill is doing like 5 bars, easy peasy. I lost some uh, rotation there, I lost my combos, but in the same time, you can see that Green Goblin, even if you miss your combos, even if you miss your rotation, he is kind of stable, you know, you can pull out, look at this, as soon as you proc on your tier 3, you can see the bars flying and this is really nice, you know, uh, my Green Goblin was able to do this, yeah, 53, uh, 55 seconds into the first phase and Green Goblin was able to clear this, uh, so let's see how much it's going to take him for the very next phase. And here I want to rush through and go into the tier 3 and you can see, boom, one shot, one rotation for the second phase and Green Goblin is massing through content, he's really nice and you can compare him honestly with uh, level 80 characters, you know, the damage he has, it's out of your mind good, at least for a villain. You know, the fact that he is getting his own leadership and an extra support helps, of course, but look at these numbers. For a level 70, going through the bars that fast is really impressive. Green Goblin is not only for ABX 100%, he is not only a support 100%, he can do, as you see yesterday, GBR, ABX, now World Boss Legend, and I, I want you also to tell me into the comments your opinion about the way I showcase the characters. I went in the first day, I did ABX Green Goblin, second day ABX Octopus, uh, Octopus and after GBR and now World Boss Legend. I showcased all three game modes for PvE, but in the same time with all the characters comparing them together also. D did that feel cool for you or you want a separate uh, review for each character? And you can see here, Green Goblin managed to clear the boss, the whole fight, into 2 minutes and 10 seconds. 2 minutes and 10 seconds, it's quite impressive to be honest. And let's see what Doc Ock was able to do. Exact same team up, uh, but this time instead of using another support, I'm using Dr. Octopus. Uh, previously, I was using Craven with uh, Green Goblin as the support types and Taskmaster as the second support. But now I'm using instead of Craven, Taskmaster because Taskmaster also got a CDP of Insight and I want to be fair for uh, the others. You can see here uh, Dr. Octopus is flying through this content. And my rotation here, it's more to freestyle, you know, I'm dropping some second skills, I'm dropping some first skills there to bump his damage even more and try to push him into the next phase. And you can see there, I did like uh, 
30 seconds, uh, in basically 40 seconds into the stage. So it's pretty much uh, 10 seconds, something faster than Green Goblin, which is really impressive for Green Goblin, to be honest. I saw uh, people at level 80 do way faster with an energy here, so you have to consider that, I mentioned in the start. Uh, but the fact that I have a raid doesn't hold me back to participate at least on World Boss Legend and have a fair, you know, uh, damage. You can see my Doc Ock there is able to push uh, faster than Green Goblin. Um, with a ray and Green Goblin got a judgment. Judgment it's like an energy uh, for elemental characters, you know, it's the best CDP to use for World Boss Legend. The chain hit helps a lot, and the fact here that Raid is competing Green Goblin, uh, judgment against Raid is really nice for both of them, basically, you know. Uh, and you can see there, okay, I was out of target uh, and my tier, my fourth skill couldn't cast. Perhaps I was stunned also. And here I tried to go through and, you know, don't wait for the boss to be stunned. I was trying to pull out uh, the, the run even faster. But yeah, I end up dying. But I did pretty much the same timing with Green Goblin, like 5 seconds faster, 10 seconds faster perhaps. But yes, feels like they got similar damage as level 70 to level 80. It's really impressive for both Green Goblin and Doc Ock participating in, with the raids here. So yes, let's go into the 70s. But yeah, I forget about Namor. Let's check out what Namor can do also uh, with uh, the best team up for him, which is uh, Titania. Titania provides also a buff from, for strong type characters and combine these two buffs is better for Green Goblin. Uh, as Green Goblin is really good, but for a generic, uh, you know, uh, leadership and support in the same time. Here, Titania supporting better. Uh, Namor, in my opinion, that's why I'm using here. Namor's damage is really impressive, also, uh, but it's a tier, f it's a tier three character that can be tier four. And you can see here, Namor did faster than anyone this phase here, the 39s. And after that, I'm going to compare them against, you know, uh, level 70 Namor against Doctor Octopus. But here, I'm dropping you the damage of Namor just to figure out how much difference they have between stage 39 to stage 70 because both are doing it, this thing here easy but for durability previously I was struggling with Namor at level 70 to be honest I was really close to do it and that's why I wouldn't expect that my Hulk with PvP build could do and that's why I wasn't even testing him here I tried to push him even faster and yes, I had some uh, stage 9, yeah. It was in the ninth bar, I didn't interrupt against the beast, again the null basically. And let's see how my Namor can end up. Uh, Dr. Octopus did like 2 minutes and 5 seconds, could be 2 minutes. Uh, but yeah, let's see here how fast my name or can do it and we have like seven seconds We need to do that into this seven seconds to be faster than um, Dr. Octopus and you can see here. I am trying I'm giving my best and yeah I did a bit faster with Namor for this stage uh, instead of uh, Dr. Octopus. Dr. Octopus did like uh, two minutes and five seconds, two minutes, but this dude did even less than two minutes, right? And now let's go to see exactly the same thing. Uh, now I, I don't have the opportunity to use support because at level 70 you need to use only the durability characters and there are not supports for this stage. There's only leadership of Seahawk. So yeah, let's see what my Namor can do here and compare him with Dr. Octopus so you can know who you need to build for the higher stages, you know. And pretty much in these runs, I didn't end up all the world boss legend because it's really hard for me too. 
and need a lot of time to focus and stay alive and do all this stuff. Uh, that's why I did only the first 30 bars to see the burst of each character. And um, let's see here what Namor is able to pull out. Uh, let's fast forward through that. And yes, perhaps my gameplay is not perfect, but you can see, you know, I'm, I'm playing both Dr. Octopus and uh, Namor, so it's the same gameplay from the same guy, so yeah. Three minutes and six seconds left to let Null drop his throne, right? So yeah, let's see what Doc Ock is able to do. And let's see, the difference between Dr. Octopus and Namor at stage 39 wasn't that big. But in my opinion, Dr. Octopus uh, performs better in higher stages for some reason. And of course, I'm using him with the raids who gives him a disadvantage also. So you have to consider that. But I find myself, uh, you know, at the end, you're going to figure out yourself too, that Dr. Octopus feels like the best option for level 80 uh, tier 3 to participate into this stage I mean I had to try multiple times with Namor to do you know the run I had to try a lot of times believe me my you know my f funniest the the game modes that I have a lot of fun is world boss legend and ABX ABL so I want this tag to be done from when Namor came into the game but I wasn't able to do this fast ever I was I mean yeah perhaps doesn't seems to you a lot of fast but believe me if you have a level 80 character with like 12 audience blessing I saw you my name more got like 12 to 14 audience blessing and my doctor octopus got zero audience blessing doctor octopus here got a CTB of raids which is worse for world boss legend and Namor got a city of judgment. Yes, of course, my rotations, it's not perfect, 100%, but I feel like Dr. Octopus got it way easier than uh, Namor. So if you're thinking which one to build to progress through World Boss Legend, I mean, Dr. Octopus is without any doubt, you know, the number one for this. So in my opinion, all three characters we took, they have all, all three their own value. Craven as support and as a meme warrior, he can do a lot of weird stuff in the game. For some reason, they decide to give him the invisibility all the time. Green Goblin from the other side, he is really tough, his own, you know, he can be the number one ABX for his day, he can be a really good clear with uh, a judgment for GBR if you're missing rages, and in the same time he can support you in World Boss Legend as a support, as a leadership, and as a DPS himself. He is out of your mind good, and thank god we took his tier 3 finally. From the other side, Dr. Octopus, it's a really, really, really nice character and you can use him with an energy, with a mighty destruction, with a rage, with a proc. He is a character that you can use him for two days of ABL, two days of ABX and he got juicy tags for World Boss Legend also. So if you want to build him for level 80, yeah, if you want to build him for tier 4, yeah, I mean, I've seen him, people doing 10 million on uh, both days of ABL, so he totally worth being tier 4 in your roster. If you're lacking others, you know, combat villains, he is your boy, he can do a lot of stuff, guys. And he can combine the fact that Moon Knight and Namor, uh, you know, the, the both days of ABL, he can do both because he's a human and he is a villain. So he can go into combat human and into villain combat. Uh, but in the same time, you know, the other guy can who can do that is the one I had built. It's Carnage, but Carnage is a paywall character and Carnage is way worse on both days for ABL and ABX. So yeah.
that was it for all these three. I'm gonna figure out something else to do with these characters or I'm not sure. Uh, let me know down below in the comments what's your opinion generally. If you wanna see something else from Cine the Stairs Syndicate and whatever I asked you before. Thank you for being here. Kisses in your faces.